Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush Episode 13! Ito ng... Uh, ng duelo nila... Uh, Yudias at Zuijo. Zuijo did something that... Uh, that something that, uh, that hasn't been done since Arc 5. Merge with his ace. He now uses card effects for him. Yung ace niya ang madadagdagan ng attack. Kumaga, every time, uh, every time there's a, there's a certain monster in the field, or every time, he, or every time this monster destroys another monster on the field through effect, dumadagdag ang attack. And of course, what? Kawawa si Yudias dito. He, he takes the brunt of all those effects. Alright? Even, uh, even, even during the battle phase. Yui's consciousness suddenly got incorporated with but with Requiem's, uh, with Requiem, uh, it somehow worked to you just as advantage because Zuijo was actually doing whatever, doing, uh, doing whatever the hell he, he wants with, uh, with you just. And in one moment, pinigina siya ni Yuhi. Right, for one moment, okay? And Daniel, for one moment. And all of a sudden, ayun, he finds enough courage and cards to... Wow, to to totally pull the rug from under from under Zuijo. Taka tira ng isis Zuijo rito. So what this is going on? Of course, ah, uh, Manu was uh, was watching it all. Yung mga yung nangyayari sa duelo nito. Sinabi ni Yuan mo sa kanya na medyo <clears throat> medyo gina medyo to call this tapio na nakamdaman niya yung consciousness ng kanyang kaambal and Sinabi niya kay Malamong ay kung anong gusto mangyari ni Yuhi. Find the, uh, find the power supply of his building. Dahil sigurado, nandun yung alipores ni Zuijo. Ayun, tahanan. But, unfortunately, hindi nagpahuli si ano. Uh, I forgot, I forgot that girl's name. Uh, anyway. So, final scene. Pinakita ngayon ang headquarters ng MIK. And someone said na, uh, Manabu Sugetsus Manabu Sugetsus should not uh, we, should, we shouldn't allow this guy to, to do whatever he wants so, I'm assuming Ito ang big boss ng MIK And she probably wants She wants Manabu out of that uh, She wants Manabu out Let's not get ahead of ourselves People Not a nice style Let's break that episode down now Critics of style Base Although, merong mga Ah, uh, what's called this? Um, no, I couldn't call it, I couldn't call it side stories eh. Yung reality check moments Tapos yung mga side lights That side stories ah, side lights Hindi na puto lang PC ng episode Alright? Mainly because All of this was happening during the dual scene during the duel. So, you can now say that um, the, the entire duel was the, was the anchor of the pacing of this episode. Kasi, kasi, eh, binuba naman yung yung kontrabida eh, kumamit ng isang parang, parang dark matter type of um, energy na na fuel source. And he was able to, uh, what you call this? He was able to convert uh, solid vision monsters into real ones. All right? Kumbaga, parang mala real solid vision sa Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. <laughs> which, which, is, which, which can get scary sometimes. Dito, it was absolutely scary. Lalo nung nilabas niya si Requiem. And of course, the fan service moment. What's the fan service moment here? Well, the moment of, it, it actually happened in the last episode. Pero, yun ang naging opening scene dito. Yun na, Zuijo um, bonded himself with his own ace. So, kumaga pumasok sa episode na katawan ng, ng ace niya, si Requiem. Well, like I said a while ago, guys, it totally reminded me of the Zark arc. Okay? Sa Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 Wherein 
the moment na tinalo ni, ni Yuya, si Yuri, na kompleto na si Zark. Kasi apat silang, uh, apat silang magkakamukha dun eh. Now, the, when, if, if they are caught in the same place at the same time, lumalabas yung, uh, that piece of Zark within them is trying to, is trying to merge. Eh, ayun na. Tinalo ni Yuya si Yuri. So, eventually, ayun, naging Zark na si Yuri. So, he becomes this super humongous monster which transcends five dimensions. Okay? It, it was an absolutely crazy time in the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe, guys. In, in, the, in, in, in the franchise, in this anime franchise. It was an absolutely crazy time. What well, do I have complaints? No! Because I had those I had those fan service. I got I got a fan service moment because because of the pacing. Eh, no, no pacing ako. Flow naman. First gear shift here was when um uh, when you want to suddenly realize na yung consciousness ni ni Yuhi na nandun na kay Requiem. Right? That's a no brainer of a gear shift, folks. Bakit? Because Earth Damar, the, the substance in question here, is so mysterious, right? Sinabi ng kapa scientist dito eh. It's it's so uh what you call this, it's so unpredictable. The word impossible doesn't uh, the word impossible it's is not in its vocabulary. Right? So, kumbaga, it's the uh, it's the anything can happen type of um of fictional of fictional dark matter. Parang ganun yan. So, yeah. I would be I would be a normie if I don't call this a gear shift. Second gear shift was when nung nakialam na si si Asuka, right? What well, Again, a no-brainer of a gear shift, folks. Bakit? Because another ka another new character was introduced. And you can see the assume na anak ito ni Asana. That's called a fan service moment right there. The the introduction of Asaka. So we now uh, we've now been introduced not to not just only a not just a, a new character. This is the um kumaga yung the heir to the Mutsuba family fortune. Hey, okay. well, this family, this family did found uh, Mutsuba Town. So, kaya nga Mutsuba eh. Pinanganan sa kanila. Final gear ship was um, was the time when Yuhi assured Yudias that um, that he's going to be alright just beat Suijo. No brain of a gear shift there, folks. Kasi, you sometimes get these, um, get these, uh, these hallelujah moments from, from, from animes like Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay? The Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise is, uh, is never short of hallelujah moments. Alright? I, I've been a fan of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise since 2004. Since ano pa? Since, uh, since, uh, Duel Monsters Season Yeah, Duel Monsters Final Season Gulo ko talaga naging fan ng, ng franchise ito And eventually I became a player So Ang interpretation mo nito ay ganito Okay, so Alright Come on, Yudias Beat Zuijo Show me how you're gonna beat Zuijo Ang ganun na ako eh so these three gears that I saw, uh, definitely, either one of them, if not all of them, will play a role down the line in the in this in this particular Yu-Gi-Oh series. Plot lies. Hmm. Excuse me. Di direcho ko na kayo. Malinis ang plot, gigo mga lifestyle. Bakit? What? There are no side stories or back stories in this episode. And you can consider um, 
the final scene as a um, as a teaser for the next episode or in, or in, or for even another episode. So you can't call that a side story, folks. It's it's still part of the main continuity of the episode. Dahil tiniser lang kung ano ang anong ano pa mga istorya ang pwede magsimula dito sa series na to. Right? The, the same, it's still the same continuity. Okay? And of course, well, there's a duo going on. So, maraming explainer, maraming mini explainer sequences. Right? So if you're not prepared for that, no, Yu-Gi-Oh! is not the franchise for you. Okay? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! is not the franchise for you. If you're not, if, if, if you're, if you're, uh, if you're not totally familiar with the card game genre. So, pace, flow, and plot, they all came together for this episode, folks. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, episode 13, no-brainer. Mm. The critics sub will take a break, so... I won't be reviewing whatever, whatever animes are still airing. And of course, uh, since it will be taking a break, so I'm going to I will be take. I will not be taking on. Uh, I will not be um, uh, coming up with a new roster for the incoming anime season. So, in other words, pass mo na tayo sa summer 2022. Pass tayo. Kasi kailangan natin magpahinga. Well, we, we've been doing this for 107 straight weeks, folks. Kaya, <laughs> oh, teka muna. Alright? I'm 49 years old. I need a break. I need a vacation. <laughs> but anyway. Rest assured, Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush will be part of our Fall 2022 roster. Kasi, well, as you know, pag Yu-Gi-Oh! series, mahaba talaga to. Hindi, um, hindi siya magtatapos uh, to less than, less than 90 episodes. No, it hasn't done that before. And it probably has no plans of, um, uh, of airing a Yu-Gi-Oh! anime that is less than 90 episodes. Right now, pinaka-konti is sevens. 92 episodes lang siya. Okay? That's, uh, that's the fewest since... The fewest since... Uh, since Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 0. Ganun na katagal. So, Konami has no plans of uh, giving us uh, an anime shorter than 90 episodes. No, nope. It's not gonna do that. Because, well... This is why Konami needs an anime to promote the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. And what? It's a sound it's a sound marketing strategy. Kasi although na meron ng uh, meron ng Rush Duel format, new players are 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 still coming in to the card game. So, yun ang kagandahan doon. And ano meron yun nga, the Rush Duel format, it's easy to understand. It's uh it's more basic than what the card game, than what the original card game is now, the OCG. So, <clears throat> if you want to start out, uh, if you want to start playing this game, don't come on as a Rush Duel format. Tsaka na sa, sa mismo OCG. Kasi there, there, there are basically too many, too, too many rules to remember. Ganun lang yan eh. So, guys, this will be all for now, for, for Go Rush. So, we'll be reviewing this anime again in fall 2022. So, for all, uh, for all Yu-Gi-Oh! fans who have been following my reviews, see you in October. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, episode 13, two thumbs up. Final two thumbs up for this anime for now, Mahaka Lifestyle, be go. See you in October, guys, for this, for, uh, as we, when we resume reviewing this anime. So, Digo, wait for my next upload regarding this anime, which will be in October. <laughs> and if you're still stuck with the CHD, ay nako, bahala kayo. Magbabakasyo na nga ako, eh, ganyan pa rin kayo. Bayan. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.